the best way to determine good and evil. I think um, it was very well made in uh, uh, a book or uh, it has also been made into movies um, and that one is called uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The main reason for that is uh, uh, mainly that the, I can give you a little summary of the story um, but if, if you haven't read it or uh, seen the movie I would actually recommend to uh, get it because this is gonna be a little bit spoilers but but if you don't care much about that then I'm gonna tell you now because it's a part of morality so um, I'm gonna say it right now um, basically um, what I like about this uh, story is that uh, the story is to sum, to sum it up um, there is this uh, doctor you know Dr. Jekyll that uh, tries to find some kind of uh, medicine for how to cage the cage the evil with the evil within and uh, eventually uh, just let goodness be aspired on the top so so the idea is to essentially just be good and that the medicine would just remove all evil from uh, the human thoughts and overall uh, uh, eternal part of humans mentality and such um, the thing is though it doesn't go exactly as he has planned and so it backfires uh, basically what it does is he transformed uh, eventually into Hyde more and more as this series goes on and the only way he can uh, uh, can get back to normal is if he finds some form of medicine to kind of turn him back to Dr. Jekyll So the, the thing is about this story is, um, or the, the the moral case with the story is that uh, uh, humans have two types of uh, uh, two types of mentalities. It's the outward goodness and the inner evil. So that's what I mean is why this is the perfect uh, story for um, for the uh, the lesson of good and evil, or the nature of it, because. Uh, as as um, as I think his name was Louis Stevenson, the guy who wrote uh, Treasure Island too. He also wrote this book, but I think he said it the best. Uh, humans are not composed of one thing only. Uh, in rea in rea in reality, they are only composed. They are composed of two things, and that's really what it is. It's the uh, inner evil that is inside humans that we don't that we don't really let out in terms of outwardness. And then you have the outward goodness. This is kind of like a facade in a sense, but it doesn't make it any less good though, because you're trying to portray your best human character of the outward goodness. So in terms of understanding good and evil or the morality of human evil, I think this is a very good story for it. So so I would definitely recommend you watching or reading it because it is very well made. Uh, I've heard some people say that uh, this is very black and white uh, Victorian morality um, so maybe there's some criticism that people have of, it, have of this story um, but in terms of uh, just understanding the psychology of good and evil I think this is a very well made story um, but yeah um, feel free to agree or disagree I think this is uh, at least in terms of understanding the psychology of good and evil this is probably um, the best way because I think why I like this so much is that um, evil is simply a part of us it's not something you can rid yourself of it's a uh, it can be your thoughts or kind of um, it can be kind of some, something intermangled with something that develops and you just uh, you, in, you in a sense develop this kind of warped uh, idea maybe you think it's good uh, you know like uh, maybe Adolf Hitler for example he thought he did something good but in reality if you just understand uh, you know his method and stuff you'd know that it was very you know just cruel and stuff so that's what I mean is uh, <clears throat> is uh, humans have this uh, capacity of uh, of being both in a sense they, there there isn't something as uh, true goodness in humans there is only this outward goodness that you show uh, that you try to create the best uh, in your in your heart and mind to do but uh, in reality humans are essentially composed of uh, uh, some kind of inner evil that is waiting to just explode in a sense and uh, that's what the outer goodness is is supposed to prevent so for example if you just let inner evil uh, completely loose then 
what you will have is a chaotic world. Uh, you will just have chaos everywhere. Uh, you know, uh, and that's what the idea of Mr. Hyde is. If if that takes over, then you will just go on complete rampage and smash things up, smash things up in a sense. Uh, but if you but if you just uh, use the outer outward goodness only, then I don't know. Maybe maybe you get something. I mean, the idea is to uh, you know you are hiding your inner evil with the outer goodness. Um, but you aren't really removing it. That's uh, that's the point of the story, and um, it's supposed to envelop this uh, idea of um, that humans uh, uh, don't really have uh, goodness only. It's um, the point of the story is uh, um, humans themselves. Um, they, I think they think that uh, if you just uh, try to be good all the time, then it would just happen, but. In reality, it's it's more about accepting your flaws, and uh, and maybe that, in a sense, will work. So, in a sense, it's just a story of understanding human psychology of uh, outward goodness and inner evil, and how it uh, affects each, each other. Each other. So, I think it's a very good story. Um, but yeah, uh, feel free to comment and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for listening, and bye.